The Purchases Report provides a comprehensive analysis of your organization's purchase from vendors. You specify the period of the report to limit the scope of the analysis. The report fetches the data for the analysis from the purchase journal. So, to get accurate and precise purchase reports, make sure that all your purchase documents are posted. The Purchases Report comprises the following information. Purchase volume for each vendor, accounting details related to of purchase transactions with each vendor, invoices issued to each vendor that initiated purchase transactions together with their amounts, employees who issued purchase invoices and purchase volume generated by them. The basic report displays total purchase from vendors, with you being able to view further purchase details for each vendor. For example, you can drill down and view specific amounts affected by purchase transactions with a particular vendor. Then, for each account, you can see which purchase invoices triggered transactions being recorded on it. Finally, for each invoice, you can find an employee issuing it. The report displays summarized amounts at each level of the report in your company's, your local, currency, and in the vendor's currency. The summarized amounts are grouped by currencies and then by years and months. In this video, we will show you how to generate a purchase report. In the header area, provide a date range and a name for the report. To generate the report according to the indicated parameters and predefined report settings, click the Build button in the toolbar area. In the Basic Purchase Report, data is grouped by vendor and then by purchase invoice. As a result, there are two hierarchical grouping levels with links between them being of the parent-child type. To see sublevel details in the generated report, you have to drill down to lower levels. The default groupings are defined in the rows section of the basic purchase report. To define the groupings, the fields have been added by which data in the report has to be grouped by rows. However, you can change the predefined settings and choose how to group data by yourself. To do that, click the Customize button. Use the Rows section to view and customize the default groupings. You can delete, rearrange, and add new fields to the section by which you wish to group data. To add fields for grouping in the Rows section, click the Select an Option box, and then select a field by which you want to group data from the list of options. Use the Columns section to view and customize the default groupings. As with groupings by rows, in the Columns section, you add fields by which you want to group the data. The set of fields available for grouping data by columns is the same as for grouping data by rows. In the Values section, click the Select an Option box and then select the summable field from the list of options. Click the Build button to view the purchase report according to the parameters that you have selected. Once you are done, click Save. 